Previously on Hardline. Together we can forge the new future of law enforcement. Our old captain's been busy. Car dealership. Korean mafia front. We've got a guy on the inside. His name's Boomer. It's Kang's dealership. Kang fills the cars with drugs. Dawes' guys love the trains. Let's go put this Mr. Kang out of business. That's $9.9 .9 million worth of coke. I'm getting this out of here. Come on! Fuck it! So you're gonna update us or oh, what? You really want me to explain to you the super technical stuff I'm doing right now? Uh, no. Well, here's something. What is it? Party invite sent to Kang. Interesting address he lists, too. Half these guys I work for. Says the party's on Mount Olympus. That's some kind of code? Actually, that's a real neighborhood, believe it or not. And the party's tonight. Kai and I will check it out. You up for that? I'm not much of a party girl, but... All right. This way. Is it me or does this place seem a little too As long as I'm not being shot at, no complaint. You want some mailing stuff? Who are sending this guy stuff? <laughs> a lot of stuff. A Florida address, too. The cops turned down here. What kind of an asshole lives in a place like this? A rich asshole. A rich Hollywood asshole. Huh. Up here. <sighs> fuck this house and fuck this view. Oh, crap. Sorry. That's my phone. I take it this is your first burglary? Kang's email said. Let's just... This'll work. Okay. Bugs planted. Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Come on. Hey, lights are back on. Have to turn on the generator. I thought this thing started at midnight. Schedule change. Right this way, gentlemen. Make yourselves comfortable. I thought Kang was supposed to be here. Kang's not coming. Oh, his wife's sick. <laughs> sick? She's 25 years old. What does she have, a runny nose? Kang's out of the picture, officially. Which is why we're meeting now rather than later. I thought you were supposed to be his protection. We offer several tiers of security. Who killed him? You. Man, I'm out of here. Gentlemen. Sit down. Shut up. Allow the man to talk. You know, guys, this doesn't have to be this difficult. In Miami, we brokered truces between assholes like you. Any arguments, we settled like this, talking. Now, we don't want your turf or your product. What we have is a network of cops, military contractors, and border patrol. 
By paying us, you get access to that network. It worked in Miami, so I'd like nothing better than to see our own local luminaries start thinking like actual businessmen. Well done. And now, gentlemen, a limo crammed with some of Hollywood's finest part-time cosmetology students is en route. Please, make your way to the Boom Boom Room. And enjoy. You, uh, want to talk about it? Yeah, the Whacked Kang might be an old friend of mine. I can just talk to some people. Should be back later tonight, though. Well, your money will be stored in my Sanctum Santorum. Uh, rest assured. That son of a bitch is here. Kai. If we sneak out this window, we can still catch him. Forget Stoddard. I've got an idea. What? Give me your phone. Okay. Why? Anything important on here? Just that candy game. If we get this phone into one of those briefcases, we can track it. So you want to steal Dawes' dirty money before it gets laundered? Yeah. <sighs> Sounds fun, actually, but you're on your own. Wait, what? I need to have a word with Sergeant Stoddard before he gets away, and we can't both be sneaking through this house. Oh. <laughs> Come on, give me a boost. I can't believe I actually trusted you. This is personal. <clears throat> personal? You helped Dawson Stoddard put me away for three years. That's not personal? Sorry to disappoint. My mother died when I was in prison, Kai. Jesus. You know what? Save it. I don't give a shit what you do. Put your hands up and don't move. Hey, 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 you. <sighs> hands up. Stay right where you are. Hey, 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 hey. You...
Clark's planning something. But what? I don't know, but the case at this place is good. Stop right there. Hey, hey, hey. Do not make a move. Oh, Tear gas. The nasty kind, too. Nice. 
Look at my shot. Hands up. Keep them up. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Works training a goddamn army. <sighs> Only one reason why anyone needs this kind of ammo. with cop killer bullets. Obviously, you have no idea who I am, because if you did, you would not be stealing from me. Maybe I don't scare that easy. Well, you look Mexican, so I'll assume you're a burglar, but I'm also assuming you're not the average burglar. There are a lot of vulnerable properties in this neighborhood, but you picked mine to rob. Why is that? I wonder. Hey, seemed like a challenge. <laughs> Well, let's up the challenge. I just pushed a button, which means about a dozen coked-up psychopaths with automatic weapons are heading your way. You scared yet? Doesn't seem like it. Not from where I'm standing. <laughs> oh, no, this is very clever of you. A two-man job, huh? So to speak. Well, hats off to you. Really? You twits better take all the cash you can carry and spend it fast. Buy gold. Buy a goddamn sailboat because I'm not gonna stop coming for you. Oh, shut up! Hey there. Just thought I'd check in. Hey, turn off the alarm. Uh, that's not gonna work. You got bad guys coming at you. Oh, shit.
Well, at least we want to fill out a bunch of paperwork later. <laughs> you get started? Then try. I figured you'd probably use a hand back here. Uh, thanks, by the way. We should go. What the hell did Dawes and Stoddard do to you? I wasn't always the kind of person who would fuck over her partner. Fair enough. Just so you know, this isn't about killing Doss. Not for me. Okay. What's it about then? For you. I want him ruined. Because that's what he does. He ruins people. And Stoddard? Stoddard, I'm fine with just killing. <laughs> Pretty sure you're gonna get another shot at him. After tonight, Stoddard's gonna be coming after us. Previously on Hardline. What we have is a network of cops, military contractors, and border patrol. By paying us, you get access to that network. If we get this phone into one of those briefcases, we can track it. You want to steal Dawes' dirty money before it gets laundered. Sounds fun, actually, but you're on your own. Yeah, the whacked Kang might be an old friend of mine. <gasps> you get started? I figured you could probably use a hand back here. <laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused three million dollars worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! What is that? Poor Dawes is keeping his dirty money. Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' is corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. But do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It can power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army, you know. Made a local friend, so I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. 
Put no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh! Marcus! Oh. Oh. You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. <laughs> I'm gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd be like SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <laughs> you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safe cracker thing or not? No, no. We have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were going to, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my God, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome. Go to the right gear, Nick. Days. Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road. I'll tell you when to turn. So are you, like, enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your daddy? still carrying that fucking... Book. Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we could. Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, mm. which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess? Show him your bracelet. Oh. GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Patriots. Are guys here armed? Totally armed. So, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Straight ahead, that's ours. Well, well, Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert, thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just got to give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah. A lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. So sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, 
Race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune, who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh, she's actually really good people. Oh, sure. All right, stay behind me. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. We gotta find a way out of here. There's no argument here. What is this place, anyway? Missile silo. Decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude, just a party down here. Uh, please tell me Opera doesn't have a nuke. They don't have a nuke. Let's find that escape hatch. That Marcus kid, anyway. Little fucking know it all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. The Mexican, he was a cop. Oh, man, way too many cops around here lately. Yeah, well, he's not a cop anymore. Tony says he busted out of prison a couple days ago. So who's the guy paying the cops bounty? Tony doesn't Freaks. know. Found his Don't number on the, the ATA. <clears throat> uh, a million bucks for a Mexican. Shit, man, I didn't know they got so expensive. Someone should go check on those assholes. See if they're thirsty. Then, I give them anything to drink.
Stop right there. Hey, don't shoot, buddy. Hey, one of these idiots had my scanner. Hey, there's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here. Look, if Stada gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. All right, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alfred's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, uh, but, but, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. What? If you're up for that. Man, you lead. I'll be right behind you. That's what I thought. Unfortunately. Let's just go. Come on. You won't get this black man killed. I'll kill it. Nick, get to that trailer. Don't you have any other friends? Not out here. What are those plans for? Yeah, these guys want to blow up something. These aren't the hippies I knew. Shit, don't you have any other friends? Whoa, not out here? You got it. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Don't move.
Keep those hands where I can see them. You got it. If you see someone, fuck them up. I'll stay here. Stay alert. Can move. doing here, Agent Barnes? We gotta get to our camp!
Hotshot's been showing up around the country for the last couple of years. Turns out Albert's been cooking the liquid cocaine at his compound and using the revenue to finance a sizable military arsenal. A revolution funded by drug money. <laughs> Those don't typically work out very well. Albert's men have been cooking Hotshot this whole time. Ah, uh, that explains a lot, actually. Time to get out of here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these guys are sick. Nick, let's just get out of here. Yeah. Agent Barnes came out here looking for Boomer. Looking for me. I've had U.S. military, the FBI, and the LAPD all after me. The ATF? Dude, that's a new one. Huh. Albert's got a government file on you. What? What's it say? It's... very thorough. Here, get in. Come on, quick, get in the car. Hey, you want to talk about what's going on here? It's like these guys are geared up for their own private apocalypse. Yeah, 
Tony's kind of flipped his lid. You think? What do you guys even need a safe cracking robot for anyway? Uh, to steal something? Well, at least it's being used for a noble cause. Head for the airstrip. That's where your brood is. Okay, and you're sure it's there? Yes, I'm sure. That's where Tony keeps all his crap. Just drive. Okay, look, there's one thing I want to know. Oh, just one? Hey, well, there's hey. a lot of things I'd like to Could know. Could you just hang on? Dooney, why'd you let your dad lure us into a trap? I assumed Nick was just one of your dirtbag friends, but then I found out he's a cop, which is kind of worse, but whatever. Whatever? Whatever? You know you're coming with us now, right? Oh, really? Jesus! Oh, fuck, boomer! What if instead I turn you both over to this Stoddard person and collect my 250 grand? What the hell, woman? <laughs> I'm totally messing with you guys. God, you are crazy. This gun's not even loaded. Shit. Is everyone okay? Dude's been hit! That shot in the arm. Legs broken. Oh, we gotta get you some help. Marcus, those guys that ambushed us, they're coming. You remember this thing? Right. Nick, hold him off while I do some triage. There's guns in the trunk. You got it. Now, for the record, this place has changed a lot. That's all of them. Hey, you okay? I need you to do me a favor. Tony's a hunter, so I could use a diversion. I decided I kinda hate the desert. So you're not coming with us? We can get you to a hospital. Nah. You seem kind of busy. Airfield's that way, you better hurry. Hey, Dooney. Oh, yeah. Good luck. See you around? And tell Tony I think he's away.
grabbed him while he gassed up. Oh, shit, man. When we get back, we gotta let someone know we found them. Albert's gonna pay for this. Just so you know, the Tony Albert I knew wasn't capable of shit like this. Hey, you wanna check out that burnt out house before we go? That fire looks kinda recent. gonna come after us with everything he's got, you know. Not if we leave first. It's an airfield, right? Maybe we'll find a plane. So, uh, what did do me when she said Tony keeps all his crap at this airstrip? Tony's always kind of collected shit. The less legal, the better. Really? So what are we talking about here? Military black market shit. Tanks, choppers. He's even got a couple of grounded planes. Tony's got a lot of money, man. Drug stuff. Plus, he's real literal about his Second Amendment rights. Yo, that's it. The old airfield. Keep going. Airfield's just ahead. You know, I find it hard to believe you were a cop. Yeah. Well, my dad was a cop, too. For real? Well, not the kind you're thinking of. You know the SDE? Cuban secret police? Oh, okay, wait, what? So what? You you followed in his footsteps? Hey, you tell me, man. His job was torturing prisoners. And he liked to bring his work home, you know what I mean? That's why he became a cop. A real cop. Sorry, man. I'm sorry that didn't work out. Well, it turns out you don't have to be a cop to stop people like him. you through time to walk come on ETF <laughs> agent Barnes was working for Dawes and Stoddard he had a dossier on Boomer and came out to Albert's camp looking for him Probably the idea was that Boomer might lead to me. Bit of a long shot, but hell, worth sending a guy. Seems like Alpert got worried that Barnes would figure out his nut job plan to start a civil war. So he has the guy killed and tortured <sighs> for no good reason. It's not like he knew anything. Least I can do is make a call to the FBI tip line. These guys are fucking nuts. banked up, but I could fix it. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to fly a broken plane you fixed. What? No offense. Man, what are you trying to say, man? Are you doubting Boomer? Man, get out of here. I can fix this. I'll go find the brute. Radio's on, all right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Radio's on. Boomer, Tony's guys are already here. Uh, uh, do you see like a, uh, 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 a warehouse across the way? Yeah, yeah, it's barricaded. You can't sneak in. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think I got an idea. It might be a little loud. Nick, you said loud. 
Boomer, I got the brute. What the hell was that? Someone just shell this fucking building.
after we join up with Kai and Tyson. We are going straight to Miami. Yeah, told you I could fix it. <laughs>